Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Still looking at the uh, what's left over of this big Colorado storm system. And again, it's just going to sit and spin and affect parts of southwest Colorado, uh, New Mexico, parts of southern Utah, Arizona for several more days. It's going to get cut off from the flow and throw those waves of snow through all of those uh, areas across the four corners until the storm system actually dies. Um, now looking at things this afternoon, overall the next storm system for the central and northern Rockies Rockies is trending a little bit further to the west and the trough is just a little bit more broad. So that means snow amounts have gone up in California and the Sierra. They've gone up for parts of the Wasatch and they've gone up in parts of Colorado as a, as a result. So you can see my timeline here for the Sierra. Your next storm system 323, 324 could see heavy accumulation with that. You can see the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado's timing. Um, Revelstoke, the numbers still look pretty good for Revelstoke. They might have gone down just a little bit for parts of interior BC. I'll show you those in a sec. And the time frame for snow has shrunk just a little bit. So late 320 through 322 for a lot of Revelstoke and Red Mountain and Fernie. In the northeast, nothing has really changed. Light snow accumulation 318, 1920, and maybe even on 21. All right, here's uh, water vapor this afternoon. So let me just point out a couple of important features. So again, with this, your moisture lofts and your whites, your blues, your greens, and you can see where our storm is. It has retrograded all the way back to, to basically the four corners, southern Utah, Arizona, again, throwing moisture into southwest Colorado and also um, snow into parts of New Mexico as well. But the central and northern Rockies up here, it is just high and dry, big high pressure, and it's just a waiting game to... You know, really to change the pattern and that happens on or after now 321 322 through 325 so let me just show you the jet but well here's what's gonna here's what's coming that big trough that's part of the pattern shift uh, here's the latest jet forecast and I'll show you some of the stuff that that uh, I'm seeing trending here but you can see the cutoff low in the southwest part of the country and then the big high pressure to the north all right there's uh, Sunday 317 end of day same for 318 319. 320. Now we start to see the next storm system move in with both jet streams, the northern branch buckles. You've got the southern branch coming in. And then watch what happens here. We reach the, the peak for this storm system. And look at how broad the trough is on this afternoon update. And it's much further west. The axis is definitely tilted much further the west. So that opens up the door. And you've got great jet support for the Sierra. Um, snow it looks like it's uh, going to start to target the Wasatch more with this type of pattern and also into Colorado. So this, uh, this, this trend this afternoon really opens things up for parts of the Intermountain West. And there's the end of uh, business on 325. You can see the deep trough digging all the way down in the southern Utah, rolling towards Colorado at that point. So things have definitely shifted just a little bit this afternoon. Putting um, some precip on top of all this. So forecast radar and satellite at 530 today. You can see that cutoff low continues to spin across the four corners for quite some time. 317, 318, 319. It's not done yet. Watch 320. And there we go. Finally, here comes the next storm system in from the north. And so there's an initial storm, and then there's a secondary storm. Watch it come in on 323, 324. Look at that heavy snow right there from the Sierra into the Wasatch, into parts of Colorado. It's snowing up into parts of Montana and uh, Wyoming as well. Let's go into 324 in the afternoon. It expands. It's a large storm system. Look at that on Monday, 325. Widespread snow from Utah all the way through Colorado, northern New Mexico. Interesting pattern. Here's my latest number. So... The next, uh, the rest of today through tomorrow, the next 36 hours looks about like this. The snow is across the four corners. Some light additional accumulation, southern Utah, Arizona, moderate accumes, southern Utah, or uh, southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Next time periods, 318 through 320. A little bit of leftover snow again with that cutoff low, but you can look to the north and start to see that next storm system rolling to the south. So it's going to come from the north, drop down to the south, start to pick up some accumulation around Banff and Sunshine, Marmot Village. But this period right here, this is the one that's most active. You've got all the jet support. You've got probably two different storm systems here. You've got some cold air diving in. Um, look at the numbers up there in BC. So those have gone down just a little bit, but still looking at probably 6 to 12, maybe 6 to 14 inches of accumulation. Um, some decent numbers through parts of Montana. Anywhere in purple is over a foot, so we could be looking at some pretty good numbers there. The numbers in the Tetons have trended down, but the numbers have gone up. Looking at 1 to 2 feet in the Wasatch and probably some good numbers through Colorado, at least probably 6 to 14 inches. 
Um, and then look at California. The Sierra has definitely gone up, looking at probably two to three feet if this pattern holds. Um, so interesting uh, trends this afternoon to dig it deeper, tilt it west, and to really open up the jet and bring in that, uh, that or a graphic flow across the west. All right, final stop is in the northeast. Numbers really haven't changed much here, just light accumulation. Um, probably 3, 18, 19, and 20, maybe even into 21, but just no big storm systems in my forecast on the horizon. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.